how do I start my own general contracting company? I want to be a general contractor, but I have no experience. It can't be done. It can't be done. It can't be done. Why? It's just strange to me, however old you are, in my opinion, at least my experience, experience of my own personal life. I started from about age 14 or so and worked my way, chose those moments when they're like, hey, do you want to come out at 8 p.m. and work till like 2 a.m. or whatever the hours may be. It's part of like a church group in Texas and it's like everyone's pitching in and we're learning how to build something together from the start to the finish. So I really got to see the entire process and I made those choices to go out. I'm gonna help this person I'm building it for. I'm gonna develop relationships with people and I'm also gonna learn about construction because I'm obsessed with it. So can you start your own contracting business, whether it's a trades contractor or a general contractor without experience? The answer is no. How much experience do you need? Well, it depends on how fast you can learn. Maybe it only takes you five years. And in my opinion, if you're wanting to be an electrician, if you're wanting to be an HVAC guy or a plumber or a framer, those are trades contractors, not a general contractor which manages them all. So I think it probably would take less time, maybe four or five years is my guess, to learn the trade that you would want to go, that you want to go all in on. So if you want to be an electrician, I would go learn everything you possibly can about electrical. I would come home at night, I would read books, I'd watch YouTube videos, I'd find electrical YouTube channels or whatever it may be. However you gain that knowledge, but make sure that you're actually doing it hands on as well. So during the day, find a job, not just that pays you the most amount of money. Say you want to be a framer. And I'm going to get to the general contractor thing in a bit because like how do you learn all the trades, right? It's kind of crazy. But say you want to be a framer. I would literally suggest because so many of you guys ask me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook and like all these direct messages about I, I want to be a general contractor. I'm 19. I have no experience. What do I do? I would say go work for a framing company for nine months. Then maybe go work for a plumber for four and a half months or seven months or whatever the time frame may be. If you only want to be a framer, I would go as deep as you possibly can because framing is, I mean, all the trades are, but it's so deep. It's all this geometry and metrics and math and like roof pitches and so many amazing things that you can learn. So you could literally spend the rest of your life if you wanted to just learning about all the different components that go into framing. But then you can separate yourself from that technician mindset and become the business owner, but you have that knowledge in your back pocket. Same with HVAC, same with plumbing, electrical, drywall, you know, flooring, whatever the trade that you want to go all in on, dive in head deep and spend four or five years, maybe seven years before you branch out and do your own thing if you're starting at ground zero. Now, if you wanna become a general contractor, it really does take an, an expert knowledge in all the trades. And you really do need to learn all these things and how they all tie together. This brings me to my next point, layered learning. It's stacking knowledge. It's putting the puzzle pieces together and seeing the picture get bigger and bigger and bigger until you see the bigger picture. It's waking up every single day and cultivating growth. It's like a gardener. They plant the seeds and they water every single day and they pull the weeds every single day. They're cultivating the growth. How can you layer the learning for your general contracting company? Start with small projects. And if you have any experience, because you've gone and worked for the plumber, the HVAC guy, the electrician, You've learned how to frame a house. You've literally been out there nailing two by fours together, raising walls, tying in the bird's mouth of the trusses, flying the crane up and setting the trusses, putting the OSB on the roof, putting the clips on there, maybe even running some tar paper, throwing some shingles down, getting them right, learning how to do that. Maybe doing some torch down bitumen roofing, maybe doing some rib panel or standing seam roofing, learning all about that. And then learning how to finish out the project, learning how the plumbing rough really needs to be set right in the right spot so the plumbing trim actually fits. And same with the electrical, making sure the boxes are in the right spot before you start installing drywall so you don't have to move them and cut into your drywall later. And how that affects electrical trim, because that's important. So it's like a tree. You start with a small circle and then you add a ring and then you cultivate growth and then that next year 
you add another ring or two or three, and then you add another one, another one, and another one, and all of a sudden, you have branches and things like that grow on top of each other, and you're not losing the old knowledge that you had because you're layering, you're learning, and all this is yours. You're your own biggest asset. You're everything that you need for your success. Everything that you've learned and the hard sweat equity that you put in thus far is only here to serve you for the greater good. <laughs> you are your own biggest asset. And if you could layer your learning to where you start small, then take a medium sized project because you know, I understand that HVAC ties in a certain way and you know, there's different types of plenums and returns and exhausts and piping and the code requirements for each type of room and you know, just different things that go into putting a project together and then you fail and then you're scared. Now what do you do? You don't wanna take any more chances for growth because you're afraid of failure. So what do you do? You kick it in the face. <laughs> you kick failure in the face because failure, the fear, fear of failure is your biggest enemy. The bully of fear is gonna hold you back from action. So it's like, without action, you can't make those growth rings happen. And with fear, you can't take action because you're afraid of failing. But if you learn to not count your losses, but count the lessons you've learned from failure, that's how you get fruit from failure. I literally wrote like all these notes and I'm sitting here reading them for this video. And this is deep. I mean, this is, it's like my favorite video. Hope it's yours. Click the like button. I'm not done yet. I think the biggest point that I wanna get across is be willing to fail, but put in the work to grow every single day. So continue to cultivate that attitude, that mindset of constant 24 seven growth, growth. Growth will expand your horizons and make your metaphorical tree of knowledge and understanding and ability in life huge. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching. And I hope I answered your question, all of your questions. You guys are blowing me up constantly. I wanna start my own general contracting company. I don't have any experience. It can't be done. You're gonna get out there and you're not gonna know what you're doing. But how it can be done is starting small and never quitting to learn. Always reading the new book, always watching the YouTube videos like this, or watch me. I'll try to, and I wanna try to do more vlogs of me on, on the construction site. I got more of those coming, and you guys can follow along these projects, and I'll try to relay as much information as possible because that's how I learn too. I'm in constant growth mode because I'm thinking, how can I process this information for my YouTube audience, which is you. So thank you for watching, continue to grow. See ya.